you guys. So you're going to get a bonus video tonight, seeing how I'm alone and I have the time. I thought that I would put together a couple of... I'm losing my skirt. <laughs> thought that I would put together a couple of New Year's Eve outfits for you guys. So this is my first one. I'm really getting... Michael Jackson vibes from this, especially with the hat and the coat and this skirt. So I, I put on a, I have a bodysuit on underneath this. And when you get hot, you can just take that off and it looks like that. That's what the bodysuit looks like. It's uh, kind of scandalous. But everything's covered up. You can even like put out a poke me hit, a little mm -mm, if you wanted to. But the skirt kind of falls down on me a little bit. If I wanted to wear this for New Year's Eve, I would have to um, get my sewing machine and probably dart it in on both sides right here just so that um just so it just because it does like if i'm shaking it will it'll fall right down so i don't want it to fall right down i'd rather it be up So you got like professional with the jacket on, even like if it's buttoned up and you just see the, the cutout right there, it's still like just um, like leaves enough to the imagination that you're not looking a uh, ratchet. I don't, I don't know what, I don't know what the word is anymore. And I'm wearing, these are the shoes I have on. They're a chunky heel like that. I really like these ones. They're, they give you a little bit of a different vibe because they're, they're purple. They're, they're not black. So it gives you a little bit of a, a different uncoordinated vibe to it. So you're not all just in black and silver. It kind of adds a little playfulness to your outfit. You can even put like, um, I have a little tie, just a short little bow tie that I could, I could add there if I wanted to. Let's get the tie. It is actually really, really cute. Has little foxes on it. So it kind of just adds to the theme. Like looks more like, um, kind of feel like Charlie Chaplin now. So let me know what you think of this outfit. If this would be an outfit that you would wear for it to a New Year's Eve party or if you think that it's too boring. So thumbs up, thumbs down. Let me know your thoughts about this outfit and we will we'll move on to the next We'll move on to outfit number two. Okay, here is my outfit number two. I gotta hold that there.
My rib cage sticks out more than my boobs do. I don't like that. I don't know how to make them not do that. Oh, whatever. I'm wearing nylons too underneath, so it's kind of holding my holding my butt my butt in. And I've got my Zorro specs on because this is like okay, maybe I'm not going to a masquerade. I'm not going to a masquerade. Me hanging out at home, my own um, New Year's Eve party. So this is for the entertainment of my of my own self. And um if you enjoy these walking around videos, here you go. You'll like my shoes. I'll show you the shoes I have on. I like the I like the high back. It's like a like a updated granny shoe, granny boot. I think that's what you call those. Granny boots. So that's what it looks like. Chunky heel. I personally really like this outfit. But I feel like if I went out in this outfit where I live, people would um, maybe try to say I'm trying too hard. So um, I'm not the kind of person who cares about what other people think of me. So I would wear the outfit anyways. I wonder if it looks good with the jacket. Or if I would have to choose a different jacket. A black jacket over top. Let's just try. Yeah, so that adds like, I could walk to the dinner table like this. And then once the party starts, off comes the jacket, right? So this is, I don't know, it's a hard choice between outfit number one and outfit number two. I don't know if I would, yeah, I'd have to wear the nylons because it's cold, so I guess I don't have to care if my bum doesn't shake. So uh, let me know what you guys think if you like outfit number one or outfit number two. It's 
very hard. I think just for the fit, I would choose this one. Just because I know that this fits me, I don't have to make any adjustments to it. It would be nice if I could get the other, the skirt fixed to have an elastic waistband to put in it. Maybe I could do that myself, but uh, I think that this outfit is probably my personal choice, but let me know what you guys think in the comments, uh, one or two. So I'm going to leave it with you guys. Uh, like, share, subscribe, and come find me on my socials. On Instagram, it's katiecat077, and on Twitter, it's just brash number one. Um, if you didn't like this video, send it to your haters, and that's two minutes of their life that they'll never get back. You got that right. Uh, it, I love to hang out with you guys, as always. Turn the notifications on, and you'll never miss one of my videos as strange as they may be. It might just be something that connects with you. So, real recognizes real. And that's what I am. So, thanks for coming back. If you're a regular around here, uh, your dedication means the world to me. We're going to be bringing in New Year's Eve together so look forward to that. I don't drink, so sober, sober, sober. Love you guys again, and I'll see ya. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.